and it is glass by the way so it's giving luxury I'm so Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Faye. And if you are not new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today I have an Ulta haul for you guys, as you can see by the title. These are one of my absolute favorite videos to film because honestly, I love to shop. And I know you guys like seeing the stuff that I buy, so it's a win-win for both of us. I shop, I show it to you guys, and then you guys can also let me know in the comments the things that you guys wanna see in action so that you guys can know whether or not it's worth your coin. So yeah, this is my first Ulta haul of many to come in 2022 which honestly just sounds crazy to say that we are in 2022, but here we are. And this is the first Ulta haul of the year. So I hope that you guys enjoy. I will have everything that I mentioned to you guys listed and linked for you down below in the description as usual. If you enjoy, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into the haul. All right guys, so for today's haul, I have a mixture of a couple of different things. I have some skincare, I have some makeup, I have some lifestyle type things. I'm gonna start out first with the skincare. I got a bunch of new products from Formula 1006. And if you guys haven't heard of them, they are an affordable skincare brand that is available at Ulta. I tried them out a couple of years ago and I really loved a lot of the products that they had to offer. Number one, the packaging is super cute. I'm gonna show you guys what I got in just a second, but also I loved the price point and I also loved that the quality of the products was just as good as high-end, but not for a high-end price. So I know a lot of you guys are on a budget or are on your no-buys or just trying to be more um, conscious of how you're spending your money. I think a lot of us are considering you know, the whole situation that we're in right now. So it's always a plus when I can find products that give you quality, but for a reasonable and affordable price. So I have a mixture of a couple of different items here. The first two are cleansers. So this one is the Best Face Forward Daily Foaming Cleanser. It has passion fruit and green tea. This is what it looks like. And this is what I'm saying. You guys are gonna see the packaging on these products is so cute but this one like i said it has passion fruit and green tea this is a product that i have actually used before actually several of these i have used before so i'll kind of give you all like a quick little mini review on those items when i get to them but the thing that i really love about this is that it's great for all skin types it's really gentle on the skin it's a foaming cleanser which is my vibe i'm not really a fan of like the gel cream cleansers i need the foam i need the lather so i really love that this is a foaming cleanser but again it's really gentle on the skin you can use it a.m. and p.m. and it's perfect for all skin types. The second one that I got is a new one for me and I picked up this one because I've been wanting to incorporate more cleansers into my routine that have ingredients that are going to help me to keep my skin clear and also help to clear up dark spots and just other issues that I may be having with my skin. So this one has salicylic acid and cucumber and it says on here that it's an acne fighting cleanser that targets excess oil which if you're new here I do have oily skin so I'm all here for that and also dead skin cells with a hefty 2% salicylic acid. Cucumber and aloe are paired to calm and soothe the skin. Also another one that is perfect for daily use. So for me personally, I would probably maybe use this one at night and then use this one during the day. So I'm definitely excited to have this one again and excited to try this one out. So next up I have a toner. This is the So Totally Clean Deep Pore Cleanser. It also has salicylic acid in it and it is an acne treatment. So kind of along the lines as the cleanser that I just showed you guys. This one is gonna be really great for helping to keep your pores clean Clear, also helping to keep your skin clear. It's great for blemishes, for breakouts, for acne prone skin. This is also a great product for if you happen to have a pimple that pops up, you could just pop it right on there and sleep with it overnight or apply it a couple times a day until it goes down or goes away completely. So again, like I said, this is a product that I have used before. It works really great. And even though it does have ingredients in it to help fight acne and blemishes and clear your pores and all of that, it's still really gentle on the skin. So next up, I have two face masks. And and one of them I've tried before and one is new to me. So the first one that I've tried before is the Pores Be Pure Skin Clarifying Mud Mask. This one I love because as I mentioned to you guys before, I do have oily skin. So it does a really great job of just pulling all of that gunk and stuff out of my pores. But it's also really great for treating blemishes, treating acne, um, really just giving your skin a nice deep 
clean, if that makes sense. So it says on here that it goes straight to work on clogged pores. Strawberry and rosemary eliminate impurities while yarrow clarifies skin for instant complexion perfection. And that's another thing that I really love about these products is that they have a lot of natural ingredients in them as well, which I appreciate because if you guys have been following my channel for a while, and as I've already said in this video, I do have very sensitive skin. So I always appreciate when brands take the time to put natural quality ingredients in their products so that I don't have to worry about super harsh chemicals potentially going on my face. But yeah, that's this one. And then the new one is the Get Your Glow On Skin Brightening Peel Mask. So I think the two of these will work really well together because this one will help me to cleanse, clarify, pull out the dirt, pull out the gunk, all of that kind of stuff. And then this one is gonna help to brighten because I do have some dark spots on like my cheek area that I have been trying to get rid of for the longest time. So I'm hoping that this will help to kind of jumpstart that process and get the skin glowing. It says on here, it's a radiance boosting peel that revitalizes tired skin in minutes. Smooth on, sit tight, then peel off to remove dead skin cells, unclog pores, and banish breakouts. Powerful papaya helps to resurface skin while citrus boost brightens so you can flaunt in mesmerizingly clear, smooth, and radiant complexion. So that's the two masks that I got. And of course, I will have everything listed and linked for you guys down below. I think I said that in the beginning, but just in case I didn't, I will have everything linked for you guys down below so that you can find it really easily if you wanna purchase anything. And then lastly for skincare, I have three more products that are actually new to me. So the first one is the Bare Faith Beauty Skin Moisturizing Cleansing Oil. This has almond and vanilla, which makes me very excited to smell it. I feel like it's gonna smell really, really good. But this is basically a makeup melting cleansing oil. I was super excited when I saw that this was a product that they offer because I am a double, triple cleanse kind of girl. I love going in with cleansing oils, cleansing balms to really melt and break up makeup on my face before going in with my actual cleanser. I have found that doing a double or triple cleanse method does help to really get all of that makeup off of your skin because when you have makeup sitting on your face all day, mixing with the outside elements, oils, and just whatever else is coming in contact with your face, especially with us having to wear masks all day, it's really important that you're taking the time to really cleanse and break down all that makeup off of your face before you go to sleep at night. So I'm very excited to try this out. I'm mostly excited to smell it, honestly, because the almond and vanilla is really what has me intrigued but I'm already a fan of cleansing oils so I'm sure I will love this one and then last but not least I got two moisturizers I have the seriously shine free mattifying oil free moisturizer which I'm sure speaks for itself I don't know how many times I've already said I have oily skin but I also got a thirst no more moisturizer so one thing I do want to mention when it comes to having oily skin I think there's like a misconception which I used to think this way too with having oily skin is that I shouldn't moisturize or I shouldn't use like super hydrating moisturizers or I should like not use a lot of moisturizer like kind of be a little um basically the whole idea that moisturizer or the whole thought that adding moisturizer will make me more oily and it's actually the opposite if you have oily skin you definitely want to moisturize because when you don't that is what's actually going to cause your skin to produce more oil in excess in an attempt to moisturize the skin if you're not moisturizing it <laughs> so I have definitely changed the way that I think about that over the past couple of years and I've noticed a huge difference in my skin as far as how much oil it's producing how my makeup lays on top how my makeup lasts throughout the day based on the types of moisturizers that I'm using so I got one that is a mattifying moisturizer and one that is more of a hydrating moisturizer and my thought process with that is during the day if I'm going to be wearing makeup or if I um, basically just need my skin to be a little bit more matte I can use the mattifying moisturizer it is oil free which is important if you have oily skin you do want to try to stick to products that are oil free but then at night when I don't mind so much my skin being glowy and hydrated and when I can really allow my skin to soak in that extra hydration when I'm sleeping I have a moisturizer that is a little bit more hydrating so for these the mattifying moisturizer has aloe vera and bamboo it says that it has a matte finish of course and keeps the skin smooth and shine free all day aloe vera is going to soften the skin 
skin and the bamboo extract is going to absorb the excess oil to keep your skin nice and balanced and oil free all day. And then for the Thirst No More Moisturizer, this one has a fruit complex and white tea. So actually if you have dry skin, this one might be really good for you because it says on here that it's going to quench your skin if you have like dry thirsty skin. It's a powerful moisturizer that has a natural complex combination of watermelon, lentil and apple extracts, hyaluronic acid which is really great for hydration and then also white tea to help maintain a fresh and radiant glow. So those are all of the skincare products that I have to share with you guys for today's haul. Definitely let me know down below in the comments if you have ever tried out any products from Formula 1006. I know they also have some really amazing body care products as well so I plan on getting my hands on some of those really soon and also let me know if you guys would like to see a like skincare routine using these products testing out these products well the ones that are new to me testing them out for you guys and just showing them in action I definitely wouldn't mind doing that for you guys as well maybe in a vlog or in like a separate skincare video so let me know down below in the comments if you'd like to see that and thank you so much to formula 1006 for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's go ahead and get into the rest of the haul all right so next up I have some makeup products actually I have mostly makeup products and then I have one non-makeup product so let's do the non-makeup product first so I picked up this mist this is from the brand slip and I think they're actually known mostly for their um, silk pillowcases I think they may also make like silk um, wraps for your hair and like I know they make a silk eye cover for when you're sleeping at night but I picked this up because I saw my friend Jasmine mention this in one of her vlogs and she has been talking about over the past couple of weeks in her vlogs how she's been having a hard time sleeping and different things that she's been using to help her fall asleep at night and I also have been having that same issue I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you guys have been having similar issues especially if you are working from home now or if your schedule is just different because you're not having to get up spend an hour or two hours or 30 minutes whatever in traffic traveling and commuting back and forth I just find myself staying up later and because I know I don't have to get up and get dressed and get ready in the morning I know I can get up 20 30 minutes before it's time for me to clock in I just find myself staying up later and later and later and later and then my body is just continually getting used to staying up later so then when I do want to fall asleep it's hard for me to fall asleep so she mentioned picking this up and when she mentioned it I was like oh that looks like something that I should try so I went ahead and got one like I said this is the slip sleep mist it has chamomile and lavender and basically you can spray it in your room but I plan to just like spray it on my pillow at night before I get ready to go to bed and I'm hoping that it will help to just relax and calm me and you know just help me fall asleep basically um so this is what it looks like really cute bottle and it is glass by the way so it's giving luxury and yeah like I said I just hope that it'll help me to be able to get better sleep at night and really just to fall asleep like quicker because I've been finding myself literally laying in bed for like an hour two hours not able to fall asleep um, and this says it has 3.4 fluid ounces in it so I think it'll last me a pretty good amount of time because I'm guessing I shouldn't have to spray too much of this on my pillow to fall asleep so yeah as soon as she mentioned this and she said that it had been helping her I went ahead and threw it in the bag because I need all the help that I can get all right so next up for makeup I have some new stuff and then I also have some stuff that I've had on my list so I'll start off first with two items that I've had on my list for a while and I finally just decided to pick up and the first one is from the brand tinted I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about this because Jackie talks about it all the time she uses it to do her makeup and and it's basically a hue stick so you can use it for eyes cheeks and lips but I picked up a shade to use for color correction so I got the shade balance and I'm hoping okay yeah I think this is gonna be a good shade oh yeah I think this is gonna be a great shade so this is it right here and excuse my other swatches I was filming another video earlier today but this is it right here again like I said it's in the shade balance and it's basically a well again you can use it any way that you want it's kind of like an orangey shade so you could probably use it for blush if you wanted to I'll be using it for color correction so on areas that I have dark spots around my mouth different places that I just feel like just need a little bit of color correction that is what I'll be using mine for that's also the way that Jackie uses hers so that is where I actually found out about this and again like I said I've had it saved in my favorites for a while and finally I was like you know what let's just go ahead and pick it up and then same thing with this this is the Juvia's Place eye primer 
this is what it looks like. She came out with these last year and I picked mine up in the shade number two. So I think she has three shades, a light, a medium, and a dark. And I plan to use this to prep my eyes for eyeshadow, which I don't do often, but every now and then when I do do my eyeshadow, um, I usually use concealer. And I was just curious if an eyeshadow primer might do anything better or different. Um, also, when I do my cut creases, I wanted to try out using a tinted eyeshadow primer as opposed to a concealer. So that's why I picked this up. And then the rest of the products that I have are actually new items that recently launched that I wanted to try out for myself and for you guys. So the first one that I have, well, the first two that I have are from e.l.f. The first one is this new e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. I picked mine up in the shade Tan 425 Neutral. And I actually have it on my face right now because before this video, I filmed a full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics testing all of their new products. So if that video, it probably won't be up before this one, but it'll be coming really soon. But this is what the packaging looks like, and then this is what the product looks like on the inside. So I won't spend too much time talking about this because, like I said, I am in the process of reviewing it, and I have it on my face right now. So you can kind of get a little sneak peek of how it's looking, but a full review on the e.l.f. products will be coming really soon. And then I also picked up this um, new mascara from e.l.f., and this is their Lash It lash it loud volumizing mascara in the shade black so not that i really need any new mascaras but it never hurts to have a couple of affordable mascaras in your collection especially so that when you guys ask me for recommendations i actually have some to recommend to you guys and i did use this on my lashes today it reminds me a lot of the benefit um what's that one the benefit they're real it reminds me a lot of that one because the brush on here is really similar if you can see it's a really similar brush to that one and the benefit there real mascara was one of my holy grails for years for years it's still one of my favorites so when I saw this one and I saw the brush I was like oh I need to try that out so I went ahead and picked this up it was inexpensive as well I think it was like six dollars so you really can't beat that and then last but not least for this haul I picked up which I have mentioned to you guys in I think on Instagram and or maybe in a previous video I don't remember but I mentioned to you guys I was getting these so these are the new complexion products from Jaclyn Hill. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Skin Blurring, Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint and the Jaclyn Cosmetics Perfecting Concealer. So I have been watching, I've been trying not to, but I just can't help myself. I have been watching a couple of people reviewing these products and I've seen a lot of mixed reviews. So I'm kind of anxious to review for myself and see if I like it or not. So I got the shade tan for the um, blurring, what is it called? The blurring perfection, wait, the skin perfecting blurring tint, I got the shade tan. And then for the concealer, I got the shade medium tan neutral, which honestly I think is gonna be a really, really good shade for um, concealing and brightening underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna try it out real quick on my hand. Yeah, I think the concealer is definitely going to be a really good shade. That's what it looks like right there. So I think that the whole idea with these is that the skin tint is supposed to be blurring and even out your complexion and basically kind of just smooth everything out and give you like a nice even complexion but not necessarily do a ton for providing extra coverage. And then the concealer is supposed to give you the coverage if that's something that you need. So specifically for under your eyes, for if you have any specific areas on your face that you wanna add a little bit of extra coverage, that is what the concealer is supposed to be for. So again, I got the shade tan in the blurring skin tint. And in the concealer, I got the shade medium tan neutral. Like I said, I couldn't resist watching a couple of reviews and the reviews are very mixed. So I am very anxious to test these out on my oily skin and see for myself whether or not I like them. But yeah, that is everything that I have for you guys for today's haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's been a minute since I've been able to pick up some things from Ulta, so I'm definitely excited to have gotten my hands on a couple of things and to try everything out. Thanks again to Formula 1006 for sponsoring the beginning portion of the video. I'm definitely looking forward to having some restocks on products that I've already loved as well as new products to try out. 
out. If you have not tried out their brand, I definitely recommend that you pick up a couple of items to try out. Again, they are super inexpensive, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be sacrificing quality because the ingredients, the quality, is A1. So I will have everything linked for you guys down below. Also be sure to let me know if you have any video requests down below in the description box. I have lots of new products that I purchased recently or that have been sent to me recently. So yes, let me know if you guys have any specific requests so that I can kind of prioritize the order that I'll be filming the videos. I did already film the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I know that was one that was requested. And I have the new Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. I'll be filming that one as well. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I currently have a full face of e.l.f. going on that I am testing out and I'll be posting that video for you guys really soon of a lot of their new launches as well. So if you have anything outside of those three things, things that I showed you guys in this video or just things that you've seen that have launched and you're curious about how, you know, how they work, how they work on oily skin, if they're worth the coin, let me know down below in the description or in the comments and I will definitely be sure to add those items to the list. And if you see a comment that you agree with or that you, you know, also want to see me review, give it a thumbs up just so that I'll kind of have an idea of which comments are more popular or, you know, what items are more popular that you guys want to see. So yeah, that is all that I have for today's video. If you made it to the end and you enjoyed the haul, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, everything that I mentioned in the video will be linked for you guys down below in the description and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. We can count all the stars in the sky as they pass by your face. On your face. Take a trip up to Mars, hold your time.